Hey guys, welcome back to the Duck Hill Workshop. My name is Ben and today we need to clean. We got a lot of stuff to do and it's kind of late in the afternoon when I'm getting to this. Um, but we're gonna clean the shop. We're gonna do some minor fixes. Obviously like you can probably see that this cabinet's not level. Um, I'm gonna replace the hinges on that and add some angle brackets to help support that uh, case from racking under the weight of the, the clamps. And then we're gonna make French cleats to hang all of my saws. So, <clears throat> uh, and then somewhere in all of that, we're gonna take down a bunch of lumber from up top, make a flag case for my grandpa Dallas's funeral flag, memorial flag. You might be able to hear my brother-in-law sanding his, uh, the doors that he's painting for their house downstairs. Uh, they're having some paint failure issues. Um, so yeah, he's trying to stand and fix those. So if you hear that kind of brrrr, that's probably what's going on. You might also hear a little bit of wind noise because it's still, it's July in Minnesota, which means it's hot and humid and awful. My least favorite month of the year. And so I have a fan moving some air around in the shop. Uh, otherwise it just gets really stagnant in here and we are still waiting, hopefully this week, cross our fingers, the air conditioning people are coming and we are getting air conditioning installed in the shop. So, <clears throat> anyways, uh, what else is new? Oh, I got this Milwaukee shirt. Milwaukee sent it to me. Apparently I won something. The only thing I can think is that they entered everybody who registered tools last year into something. Um, the only tools that I purchased, purchased, got from Milwaukee were This kit, the the M, M12 brushless impact and drill that they sent me as a wedding present uh, because my brother saved the day at our, our wedding with, uh, we lost power after having a tornado. Um, and my brother happened to have his uh, whatever rocket fuel job site light on hand. And that was the only light we had during the ceremony of our for our wedding and Milwaukee thought that was really cool and sent us some stuff. Um, that's the only reason I can think that I got entered to win this. Otherwise I haven't bought, purchased anything from Milwaukee. So I was really stoked about that <clears throat> and that's it. Otherwise we're going to clean up the workbench cause it's just the ongoing <laughs> projects. Uh, we finished the quilt racks, delivered those down to uh, Platteville on Friday, did a marathon day. Drove down, got dinner with friends, and uh, then drove home in one day, which is like went 10 or 11 hours in the car with pit stops. So I missed this week's Sunday video. I'm sorry. This is kind of going to be a mixture of a build it and a workshop Wednesday. Maybe I'll put it out on Tuesday. So let's get to it. All right, so like I showed you earlier, this is cockeyed because of the weight and the, the strap hinges. We're kind of rolling off of those. So we're gonna replace those strap hinges with a piano hinge. Hopefully that's big enough. I don't know. Um, and we're also gonna put in some brackets to try and hold that edge up. We'll find out if it works. Unload, uninstall, and then put it all back together. Uh, 
All right, now the hinges are on, but as you can see, that's still going to sag quite a bit. Hmm. Now it makes me think that I need a diagonal brace to lift that corner up. All right, well, if you can see that, I think we probably made it worse. <laughs> um, my thought right now is that the, the screws and the hinges that I bought, and actually, huh, I managed to get two different size piano hinges and I put the smaller one on. Uh, okay, so maybe when I take a break later, I'll swap these hinges out and use heavier duty screws. Uh, I have some bigger pan head screws that might be able to bite. One, they're longer, two, um, they'll be able to bite and hold the, the hinge in place better. So I think we'll actually swap that out <clears throat> now that I see it. Pay attention to what you buy. Um, next, I've already traced these out. I did this the other day. So, like. Uh, something like that. We're going to cut these out so I've got a little bracket that'll go inside of there and then I'll find a sufficiently sized uh, plate to attach these two and we'll arrange the three saws, put them on a hook right there. <clears throat> so we'll get that done and then we're going to tackle into this stack of walnut, the majority of which came from my grandpa Dallas, so it seems kind of fitting. Um, I don't know where he got it. I don't know how long he had it. It's all, some of it I've previously surfaced uh, before I knew any better that it's kind of a waste to surface wood and then store it that way. And who knows how long it's been sitting. It could have been in my grandpa's garage for 50 years or more. <clears throat> uh, all right, but that's what we're gonna make his case out of. So cool, we're gonna do this first and then that. First hydration, it's hot. I'm barely moving. I've got the fan pointed right at me and I'm just bleh, melting. Oh boy, gotta move some stuff. Okay, so since Kevin's got her, all the air run out to the wherever he's painting outside, I can't use my nail gun. So we're gonna use screws. Which the downside to using screws is that it, it creates a chance for this piece to move. And there it is. It does need, they're a little bit precarious, so I do think I need something out here to kind of help hold them in place. Uh, but otherwise, there we go. <coughs> All right, so I know I said I was gonna show you making these cases, but you'll see this one. This is the one I screwed up. And I got frustrated. I made a template. So I've made now two of these. And then three and four. This one's been glued up. This is waiting to be glued up. So that'll come out next Sunday. Be ready for you guys because I missed last Sunday. I'm sorry. Um, we already recapped. We screws still have a screwed up shelf. I haven't put that, uh, that second hinge on. We have the saw tills on. I still have to put on a, a hook or, I also thought about getting magnets and just putting magnets in the back plate behind uh, each of the blades. So having that catch. Um, ooh, the other cool thing is I was complaining about how hot it was in here earlier. Uh, my brother, who is awesome, 
um, decided to get a portable air conditioner, ostensibly for his camper. Uh, but he made a frame, put it in the window here in the garage until we get the uh, air conditioning in our garage shop space here hooked up. So Matt, that's a lifesaver. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I've got to clean up all this blue tape. Uh, there's a little face frame that goes on. There's glass and inserts and a backer. Um, you can make these to be a wall hanging thing or a, like sit on the mantle. Uh, I think ours for, for my grandfather's flag is going to sit on the mantle. Um, I'm going to build Megan's grandfather's case uh, so that it can be both, either or. We'll see what her family wants to do with it. And then I'm probably going to crank out a few more of these. So if this is something that you want, um, one, I hope, I totally hope that the video on Sunday that you are able to build your own. I would love that. That's the best part. If you said, hey, I watched your video and then I went out and built my own, that's awesome. Uh, if you don't want to build your own, if you don't have the thing or the space for it, I would be happy to make them for you or with you. So let me know if that's something you're interested in and we can talk about it. I have a lot of lumber. I'm going to probably make a couple more of these and have them on hand. So that being said, that's this Wednesday, Workshop Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time. And stay tuned for Sunday. You'll get to see these babies come together. What's next after that? Right now, I don't know. Until next time.